Hi, so I'm going to show you how to draw a histogram from a frequency table. First of all, you will need to work out the frequency density, and this can be found by dividing the frequency by the class width. The class width is the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit of each group. So we've got to draw a histogram then for these people's ages in this frequency table. So I've already worked out the class width uh, for each group. So the class width is the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit of each group. So the first one, it will be 10 take away 0, which is 10. For the second one, it will be 30 take away 10, which is 20. For the third group, it will be 40 take away 30, which is 10. And for the final group, it will be 45 minus 40, which is 5. So once we've got these class widths, then we can then work out the frequency density using the formula above. So it's the frequency divided by the class width. So for the first group, it will be 30 divided by 10, which is 3. For the second group, this will be 15 divided by 20, which is 0.75. If you're finding this difficult, you can always do it on your calculator. For the third group, this will be 40 divided by 10, which is 4. And for the final group, it will be 5 divided by 5, which is 1. So once we have the frequency senses, we can then draw out uh, the bar chart. Okay. On the y-axis, you have the frequency density. Okay, so we just need to go up to four because that's our highest frequency density. Going across, we put the ages. Okay, so I've gone across in tens. So it's going to look a bit like a bar chart. So for the first group, naught to ten, we've got a frequency density of three. So that'll be our first bar. For our second group, which goes from 10 to 30, our frequency density was 0 0.75. So if we go up to 0 0.75. For our third group, which went from 30 to 40, our frequency density was 4. And for the final group, which went from 40 to 45, the frequency density was 1. And there you have your histogram. Thanks for watching.